Hello Fliplit Helmet fans, this is the day you have all been waiting for because here, right in front of me, looking gorgeous, is a flip lid that I actually really quite like and that is the brand new Shoe Berth C5. Let's get down and dirty. So, what's the big whoop about the C5? Well, quite honestly, where'd you start? But let's start with some numbers. 2206, that is a glorious number of a European regulation that by 2024, all helmets must meet. And here's the real kicker. This already meets it. That's right, Shoebirth didn't want to wait. They didn't want to stretch out their line until then. They just decided, you know what? We're going to give the very best we can. We're going to take you to the future. So rather than wait, here's the C5. It is absolutely 2206 compatible. It meets all the regs, which also means it meets the P&J regulations as well. This is about as advanced as you can get right now. Next up, let's have a look at this quick release class one optical visor, which has changed quite significantly for this year. And the first thing one may notice is this, in that it is kind of flat, where usually with a lot of shoe berths, if you're already a shoe berth wearer, you'll remember there would be a little, little bump over here. What this has done is in, they've removed that and it's actually increased your vision. You actually get to see more. And it's partly as well because of the systems that keep it in place. Usually there would be a clip there on the old shoe berth, so put down, clip, no longer, they are to the side. Also to the sides are these, the turbulators. Can you guess what they do? Yeah, it's to help airflow over the helmet to give you a smooth ride. And it doesn't stop there because also fitted as standard, pre-fitted, so you don't have to do any of the work yourself, is a Pinlock 120 insert. Okay, what's the 120 about? Well, imagine you put a helmet on, and you wrap a scarf around your neck and you close all the vents and everything like that. Basically, the 120 stands for seconds, which means you can sit and overheat and <laughs> for up to two minutes before it steams over. That's with no airflow. So what, what that's essentially saying is, as long as you're doing like one miles an hour and actually moving, the chances of it ever steaming up are almost zero. But that isn't it for the visor because the new C5 has one more trick up its sleeve. And oh, FYI, there will be different colored visors soon in case you didn't always want to use the drop-down sun visor that's inside. You'll be able to get different kind of grades and stuff and they will be available quite shortly. But here's a great little thing, right? So you're riding along, you're on your flip lid, you pop your visor up. In fact, let's not put it here. Let's put it there and let's just say for argument's sake when you are riding along with your visor open which many people do if you've got big screens and touring bikes and stuff this is the position where you like to have your visor set okay so what usually happens when you open up the front well first of all benjamin struggles to get the front open because he's not looking what he's doing which i've got it now okay so pop this up right okay see that the visor has moved up with the front now you want to put your visor back down and you want to put your front back down. Now what usually happens when you do this on most flip lids is you bring it down. <gasps> it is a visor memory. It remembers, or some mechanical thing, who knows, in here, remembers where you left it. And I can put it there and do the same. I can even put it right down on the lowest bit and do the same. And it, do you know what? It's a tiny, tiny little thing, but it is another USP that makes the C5 so brilliant. Let's move the conversation now onto venting. And in fact, the uh, aforementioned visor plays its role there because we have what is known as the city vent. Now you may see, and I just, just popped it down there because that's it right there. Just enough when you're riding through the city to let a bit of extra airflow through. Now, Shoebirth, the spoiling people that they are, for spoiling you, not one vent on the front, but two. And as if that wasn't good enough, inside here is a little filter. That filter will stop the particulates coming in 
in getting to you and we'll probably stop whatever comes out of here going in the other direction and it will collect it all and it can be removed and it can be cleaned and put back in. That's a lovely, lovely little touch. The same goes for the top vent here as well. And then, better yet, what we also have here is some exhausts. Now these exhausts are always open, but they won't be letting any water in any time soon. And you want that kind of airflow. You need some kind of airflow. Even if you have no air kind of coming in the front, your head, you're producing heat, you're producing probably head noxious gases, who knows. But the point being is, they will always have an exit point here, which means your head will always be perfectly ventilated. When we're talking about the shell of the new C5, it actually comes in two shell sizes and in kind of head sizes 53 to 65. But there's a little thing under here which they don't really shout about too much when really they should because what they've done is they've taken a really great measure to keep the weight down. Part of this 2206 thing we spoke about earlier, that regulation, kind of means having heavier helmets. It's inevitable. So what do manufacturers do? Well, I'll tell you what Shoebirth did. They said, well, you know what? We're going to use one of our internal layers is going to be all carbon fibre, proper carbon fibre, not the pretend stuff that you see stuck sometimes on some helmets. But here you cannot see it. It is inside and that helps keep the weight down of this helmet so it stays absolutely ballpark. And I can't think of anything else to say. And as a further little touch, what we can see here is a nice bit of branding by Shoebirth. And okay, it's not something big, it's not a huge deal, but what it is is a nice touch. And better yet, it's not actually on this side. And you know what? Having it just on one side kind of makes it cooler. Speaking of something else that is on one side is this, and this is the control for the, let's whip this right up, for the internal sun visor here. Now, love them or hate them, they are very handy things to have, especially if you happen to have left your black visor at home somewhere. But here's a kicker with this one. Okay, so let's close it right up, okay? And when I go to do this, that, that's not moving. And I'm, I'm exerting a fair amount of force trying to get it to move, and it's not. And the reason is, Shoebirth don't want the black visor to just drop down willy-nilly, you know? Okay, so what you actually need to do is a quick movement, like that, and then it kind of knocks the lock, for want of a better expression, and brings it down. You push it back up. There it is, you feel a kunk as you do that, and there you've got the thing again, so just a little bit more pressure, like that. But they're not done there yet either, because the thing about noses is many of us have smaller noses or larger noses, and if you are of the giant conch variety, this little thing here might be very handy to you, because if you look here, there's a little tab. Muck about with this tab, and what it will do is rather than going all the way to the end, it will go to just about there, which means this doesn't come down as much and you won't end up chopping half your nose off. So again, tiny, tiny little touches to make life easier for as many people as possible. Which, speaking of as many people as possible, leads us to the customizable interior. Now, yes, shoe berth, with a lot of Schubert stuff like the C3 or the C4, you can change the internals, but they have gone to town with this. And you can actually change kind of here, 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 and here in, all, in a variety of different ways. So if you've got a round head and it doesn't quite fit, you can change it to fit. If you've got an overly type head, you can change it to fit. And you can just keep going until your Schubert fits you better than any helmet. How? Quite simple. Ask your dealer about it, and they will tell you. Now, obviously, these are going to come in some quite nice colours. In fact, there are six colour options to choose from, and also four base colour options, which are white, silver, matte black, and concrete. Primer! But basically, concrete primer. I mean, and yeah, so if you've got a, if you've got a particularly coloured Yamaha MT-10, just as an example, you might find that particular one will go beautifully with it. But the point is, there are loads of options for you to choose from. Now, if I were to ask you to look at this, I might say to you, 
Does something look a little odd to you here? Something look a little different perhaps from a shoe berth or another helmet you may have had? Well, let's just spoil the mystery straight away. You might realize the strap is quite close to the front of the helmet, okay? And you might think, well, that's a bit weird. Well, actually, it's not because when it comes to any helmet manufacturer, one of the biggest complaints they get sometimes is about how the strap is too close to your neck sometimes. So Schubert thought of this because of course they did. So what they've done is you've got your little micro lock with a quick release system here, okay, and it is further forward. Now, how can they bring it further forward? The Aros, the anti-roll-off system, which is here. You see these lines here and here, which are coming off the strap. These actually come all the way back here and connect to here, to the back of the shell. And what that means is you've always got extra support holding the helmet on. That means they can move the strap a little bit further forward, increasing comfort and also being able to increase tightness without it impinging on your throat too much. I mean, it's a genius idea. It really is, is brilliant. I mean, what else have they got? What? It's got more. God, I better tell you about it then. Now, any self-respecting flip lid for touring should come comms ready, although some still don't, believe it or not. But, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Not here, not with the C5 at the front, because right here, just in this corner, is where you will put the first component from Shoeberth SC2 system made by comms expert Senna. You might see there's a little tab here. You pop that back. You get the microphone, click straight in. Then here, now I'm not going to, I'm not going to actually take it off, but you can see that I can if I wanted to, just there. That is where the control system clicks in. And then last but not least, right at the back here, and again, same thing, I'm not going to take it off, but I could if I wanted to, is the control unit. So that's battery and brains and all of that kind of stuff. And hidden somewhere in this remarkable piece of awesomeness, are three antennas. You've got the mesh antenna, which does the hello mate, hello mate, and all your other inane chat when you're riding along. And then you have the FM radio to boogie along to, I suppose, and then Bluetooth as well. Not just one for all, three separate ones. I mean, they really are catering for everything and everybody. Even if you might be hard of hearing, because the speakers, the pre-fitted speakers that are in here, are HD, and that basically means they are really, really good. So that comes pre-fitted, chuck on the control thingies, and we are away. So there we go, the C5. This is a helmet from the future, like literally, because it, it wasn't supposed to come out till 2024, when 2206 comes in, and they just said, sod it, we're gonna bring it out now, we're gonna give everyone the best that we can, we're not gonna wait, which, is absolutely fabulous. So biker heads are trying really hard to get me into flip lids, right? They're trying really hard. And I'm resisting because it's funny. Even though a lot of the kit I've been using has turned me around, has been fabulous. But I tell you what, this thing, this thing is just brilliant. From top to bottom, it's fully stacked. And this is not hyperbole, right? Right now, autumn 2021, as I'm speaking, this is the most stacked, most advanced, most up-to-date flip lid helmet you can buy. So, if you want the best, right now, this is it. And no further. Ladies and germs, the Shoeberth C5 absolutely blows everyone's doors off. <laughs>